Yep, you read that right. I quit having sex. Let me explain. Listen, we live in a day and age to where sex and nudity is put on a pedestal. It is everywhere from music, TV shows, movies, commercials, sports, our phones, and even in cartoons. To the point that sex is so embedded inside of our society that little girls even at the age of 12 already fantasize about having sex. Let that sink in. And another thing, if you are a virgin past the age of 16 and 17, you get made fun of like something is wrong with you, which is what happened to me, which is why I lost my virginity, but I'm gonna talk about that in another video. In real talk, if you are a virgin, stay that way. Why is that? Because the moment you lose your virginity, you lose your innocence. And once your innocence is gone, it's gone. So now that the intro is out the way, Let's get into the six reasons why I quit having sex. Since I am a Christian, a true believer in Christ, I want to honor him wholly with my spirit, soul, and body. And I can't do that if I'm out here having relations. Listen to what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3. This is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you abstain from fornication. Basically, if you are fornicating, you are not walking in the will of God for your life. Now, what is fornication? Simple, sex outside of marriage. What is marriage? A union between a husband and a wife, man and a woman. I want to protect myself from catching an STD or HIV. I don't know about you, but I value my health, and I refuse to put my health on the line for 12 minutes of pleasure. Yes, you heard that right. The average time of sex is between 11 to 13 minutes. Now, I could take some of that time, I can go play my Xbox, go up to my studio, make some bangers, but I refuse to put my life on the line, y'all, for 12 minutes of pleasure. Because these days, you don't know who has what or who's been with who. So, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I never have to worry about a woman saying these words to me. Dwayne, I'm pregnant. Should I keep the baby or have an abortion? See, that happened to me before when I was 22 years old. I got my girlfriend pregnant. She called me on the phone and she told me the news and we talked about it. See, she wanted to have an abortion, but I wanted her to have the baby. But guess what she did? She went behind my back, had an abortion, and that tore me apart for a long time. And believe me, I don't wanna go through that no more. And plus, I want my kid to be raised in a healthy two-parent home. This video is sponsored by me. I am Dwayne Smithers, a youth motivational speaker. I speak to high school students and middle school students about bullying, mental health, and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in bringing me to your school, your church or your youth event, visit my website, dspoet.com. Also, I wrote a new book entitled Flossom. And in this book, I teach people just like yourself how to become awesome despite your flaws. So also, if you want to order a copy of my book, visit my website, dspoet.com. Shameless plug. Back to the video. I wish where someone would have took out time to teach me as a youth that premarital sex came with the dark side that would torment my mind day and night. Something called soul ties. Why? Because each time I had sex with a woman, I'd be connecting my soul to unknown personalities, unpleasant emotions, unwanted compulsions, convulsions, and explosions. All uh, because I was promoting my sexual desires over God's law of motion. Boasting about my so-called player stats, breaking to my homies about how many women I slept with, and breaking the hearts of many women and leaving them with nothing but regret. All in the name of sex. So ties. So ties ain't no joke. And once I found out what a soul tie really was, I'm like, you know what, I can't do this no more. So what's a soul tie? Well, if you listen to my poem, I said it in my poem, but I'm gonna break it down to you in slow-mo. I'm joking, but check it out. I said, 
Every time I had sex with a woman, that I would be connecting my soul to unknown personalities, unpleasant emotions, unwanted compulsions, convulsions, and explosions. All uh, because I was promoting my sexual desires over God's law of motion. So basically, every time you have sex with somebody, you are connecting yourself to that person. You are becoming one with that person. And not only with that person, but the person they slept with, and the person they slept with, and the person they slept with, and the people they slept with. So now you are entangled, now you are joined to all these different people that you don't even know. And by doing so, you will pick up some strange mental and emotional problems. Like you can be walking by the cat one day and kick the cat around. Like where'd that come from? That's that soul tie. See, because now, like I stated, you are connected to all of these different people that you don't even know. So when you have sex with somebody, man, you can be connecting yourself to like mass murderers, man, like rapists and whatever, whatever. And y'all, I can't take that chance no more, man. Because like a soul tie, man, look, it's no longer physical anymore. It is spiritual. And since it is spiritual, guess what you need? You need deliverance. So if you are tired of being entangled with these soul ties, then what I would suggest for you is to go find you somebody who walks in the power and the authority of Christ and ask them to pray for you, lay hands on you, and break them soul ties. But you know what? Once you get those soul ties broken, don't go back to it. Yo, for real. Reason number five ties in with reason number four. I want to protect my memories. I want to enjoy my memories. I want my memories to be pleasurable and I can't do that if I'm having relations outside of marriage, which is another reason why God tells you don't have sex outside of marriage. He's trying to protect you from having future bad memories. Let me explain. One day I was on Facebook and I was scrolling and I came across the profile of one of my ex-girlfriends. Now at this particular time, she had gotten married. So as I'm looking at the pictures of her and her husband, in the back of my mind, these thoughts popped up. I used to hit that. She got some good stuff. Bro, I had your wife before you did. Now listen, y'all. As a man of God, I don't want to be thinking like that. For me, those memories are not pleasurable, and I do not enjoy those memories. I want to honor my future wife. To my future wife, babe. Sweetie, Mrs. DS Poet, Mrs. Smithers. If you are watching this video, do me a favor. Drop a comment in the comment section below to let me know that you are out there. For real, y'all, all jokes aside, imagine, imagine how it's going to be for my future wife when she finds out that I've been saving myself for for this long. See, I don't want to go inside of my marriage with soul ties and with bad memories of the past of women I've been with. See, that's not fair to my future wife. I want to enter my marriage with the highest level of purity as possible because for me, that's the kind of foundation that I want to build my marriage on. There you have it. Six reasons why I quit having sex. Thank you for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.